Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I know many of you use your smartphones as uh, navigations uh, or navigational systems, GPSs, even though some smartphones don't really have true GPSs built in, at least at the hardware level. I'm actually going to be uh, using my smartphone as a, a kind of a public GPS of sorts. We're going to a, a local startup's party, and part of going to the party is telling everybody where we are at the time that we're broadcasting a signal. So there's an application that will allow you to tell friends where you are. I mean, for a limited amount of time. You don't just leave it open, you know, forever. Uh, so for the next hour or so, people will be able to know exactly where Diana and I are in the car as we're driving to the party. So they'll know where we are. And if we found a parking spot, because usually in Seattle, you just circle and circle and circle and circle and you never find something. So I know a, a few of you are uh, interested in GPSs. My dad is. Uh, he's always looking for a new GPS. Even though I said, Dad, you have, a, you have a, a, an iPhone. Just get the right app and you'll be good to go. So this article was compiled really for, uh, I would say, my dad's benefit. Uh, Google Maps is you know, baked in. Uh, to uh, iOS today. Of course, Google did a better job with the mapping applications on Android. Shocker there. There's also Waze. That's a popular application for GPS. Uh, W-A-Z-E. And the thing that I like about Waze over uh, certain other GPS applications uh, for, for smartphones uh, is the fact that it's got the 3D interface. I kind of like that. Of course, MapQuest 4 mobile uh, is another option. And MapQuest back in the day was the only real web option that I used. This is long before Google Maps was uh, available. Uh, MapQuest was the go-to place. Uh, in fact, I, I kind of giggle now if I'm talking to someone they want to know you know, how to get to our house. Let's say we've got a, a repair going on or whatnot. They say, well, is it on MapQuest? I'm thinking, MapQuest? Really? People people still use MapQuest? That's it's kind of shocking to me. But there's an updated application uh, adding a few different features, including the ability uh, to uh, you know save places which you may not have in your default uh, GPS app, as well as an easy way of finding places around you or certainly on the way. Uh, there's Scobbler, and that's another one. Uh, it's basically free or truly free turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation for iOS. So if you are looking at Android and saying, oh, I wish I had something like that, well, maybe there's an option available. It, we've done a roundup of our favorite free GPS navigation iPhone apps. We posted the story in the, in the video's description here. If, you, if we've missed one that you think we need to have there, uh, well, let us know. Uh, we'd love to share that information with everybody else. Not your location. The information of where they could find the app. The location of the app. That would help. Not you. I don't really care where you are. Well, other than I hope you're on the page reading what we've compiled for you. That's, that's where I want you to be. That's, that's where you are.